Hey guys, so today we are going to be going over all the different types of western saddles. First up is an all-around saddle. So all-arounds can be used for roping, barrels, trail, pretty much anything. They have that nice sturdy horn on there so you can rope and most of them have a somewhat deeper seat in case you do want to run some barrels or do trails. Most of them are intended to be a little on the lighter weight side to be more versatile and sometimes they will have more of a rounded skirt. Next up is a barrel saddle. They are known for their tall skinny horn to hold on to and their deep seat to keep you in the saddle. They usually have rounded skirts and are more on the lightweight side. The only thing is you cannot rope out of a barrel saddle. That horn will not withstand it. Next is a cow horse. It's like a combination between a reining saddle and a cutting saddle. It has the same tall horn, a pretty flat seat, and a low cantle. Next is a cutting saddle. These have the tall, slimmer horn, a very flat seat, and a low cantle. Most of the time they have double skirts as well. Next is the mounted shooter. So this is very similar to a barrel saddle. It's got that same deep seat, usually rounded skirt, and light weight. However, the pommel is slightly tilted forward so they have room to take out their guns while they're running. Next is a ranch. So the ranchers are gonna be more heavy duty. Like on this one, you can see it's got a heavier duty swell on it. Thick horn for roping, reinforced rigging, and double skirted. Next up is a ranch cutter. Basically a cutting saddle that you can rope out of. So it still has the tall horn, but it's a little thicker and heavy duty. So you can rope um, same kind of flat seat and low cantle and double skirted. Next is a rainer. The fenders allow for easy movement. The skirts provide close contact. It has a shorter lower horn and pommel and it also has a flatter seat. Next is a roper. They have sturdy trees, reinforced rigging, a stout horn for roping, and typically a wider seat for hip movement. Next is a show saddle. They have a much shorter horn and pommel, close contact skirts, and an equitation style seat. Next is a trail. They're definitely geared towards being lightweight. They have a rounded skirt, added strings, a short, smaller horn, usually a padded seat, and somewhat of a higher cantle to keep you in place on the trails. Last is a wade. They are sturdy built, known for not having a swell. They have that big wade horn, and they most commonly have a narrow twist in the seat.